Hello once again and welcome back to another exciting installment of Jerry's Online Fight Season 2, Episode 9. Let's see what we have on the menu for today. Let's see, first fight is titled Is Ryu the Secondary? Now, a little history behind this fight is that, okay, with battle points, Ryu is at 670. If you remember Ibuki, she was around 200, I believe, I believe 183. So, going by the points, Ryu is actually Jerry's secondary. Jerry's the main character they use. Ryu is the secondary, followed by Ibuki or either Ken. I think Ibuki's um, third. Because she has almost 200, and I think Ken has maybe 100 or 60. I don't know. I don't know for sure. I only use uh, I only use Ken for fun, you know, some of the times when I'm just you know playing around with my PSN friends. But let's see what happens here. Let's see, this guy's main character is let's see Evil Ryu, and the match is between Ryu and Evil Ryu. So let's delve in, shall we? See what happens. It's uh, America versus America, USA, North American soil. So uh, this is a uh, home turf. So the signal should be rather good. Metu Hadouken versus Metu Shoryuken. That should have been a default evil Ryu. I like that costume. The long hair. Yeah, so badass. Look, he's like, it's like he's a Super Saiyan. That Super Saiyan 3 because his hair isn't long enough, but you know. The reason I threw that out blindly was because I was uh, trying to test out which uh, ultra I had. I wasn't sure if I had um, one or two act. Well, I had the uh, this Hado Ken and Shuriken. So that's why I, that's why I threw it out. Will the tide of battle turn? 
Now going in, I was expecting to fight someone else. That's why I chose Ryu, because the person that was fighting um before this match was using Ryu like throughout like uh, all of our sessions. So when I finally decided to like you know bring my Ryu in, uh, he kind of left uh, the endless battle lobby. So this guy stepped in, who was actually the actual host, and uh, his character was even Ryu. So um, you know, it just happened that uh. Now, I wasn't expecting to win this fight because uh, this guy had like almost like he had 2,600 uh, battle points, which meant he knew I uh, really knew his character. And uh, this Ryu was just uh, still in the uh, noob state, so I wasn't expecting to win. So you know this was like uh, kind of a surprise to me. But at the time, however, after this I brought in Jury and uh, she got her ass kicked uh, royally. But you know that, that always happens to Jury. She's like a 50-50 character. Sometimes she wins, most times she loses. Uh, let's see. Jerry, you dumbass. Is what I say a lot. And I mean a lot when Jerry's fighting because she has a mind of her own. I input one thing, she does another. And the thing she does is completely unsafe. Whereas what I want to do would be a safer option. However, she has her own mind, like, when her super gauge is all the way filled up, she likes to, uh, discharge the whole thing in one attack. Me? I'm like, uh, you know, to remedy that, I usually, uh, like, if it hits four, I like, uh, I like to discharge, like, one bar. You know, just in case, uh, she, um, tries to do her super by accident. But let's see what happens here. Let's see, why did I call you a dumbass in this video? Alright. See, it looks like we're going up against the same guy. Uh, did he choose? I wonder if he chose. Oh, I think he chose Eva Ryu for the second time. Yep. Eva Ryu versus Jerry. The Kaisen Dakaraku. Dakaraku. Then Kairaku. Okay. The White Jerry! Versus the Black Ryu, Evil Ryu. that axe kick. I'm just saying, if they utilize more Taekwondo techniques in this game, Jerry could be just unstoppable. Oh, no, un unstoppable. But the get tongue-tied. Okay. So cancel. I'm like, block, block, block! She didn't block. 
I don't know what the hell she did, but okay, it got okay. So okay, back and talk. Now I don't know what she did at the end, but I was going for a block, but she did something else instead. It resulted in a win, but if that um if that hit didn't connect, that would have been her um that would have been the end of Jerry. Cause uh, that dude just like unleashed like holy hell <laughs> upon her at close range. With that, uh, that mental hut again. Like I said, she has a mind of her own when, uh, she's fighting. Say, like, I'm fighting, she's fighting. Sometimes I suggest something, she suggests something back. Most of the time. Well, I guess that's how it goes. When Jerry's not being controlled by Pat. Maybe she's a bit more tolerable under, uh, the stick, but... With a pass, she just does what she wants when she wants to. Sometimes. And when she does it up, it almost certainly gets her killed. This time she was lucky though. But however, what I was saying before, her, um, her, her um, martial arts skill, skill set, which is uh, Taekwondo. It's like if she utilizes that more instead of like relying, relying on her eye like half the damn time during fights. I think she could win more. She, she seems more like a physical, like a physical combat specialist than a zoning type person. I mean, her fireballs like they're they're, they're somewhat decent, but not you know not like uh, they're not really built for like uh, you know heavy zoning, like full screen. So you have to be full screen for it to like work effectively, you know, against like other fireballs. But once you get like you know. Half screen. You can't really be offensive with it. You have to be defense. She's a defensive zoning type character, and then like an offensive zoner like Ryu or uh, Guile. So I, I don't know what, they're, what Capcom was taking when they were doing that with her. But if they if they just like uh, you know just uh, put like a little bit more oomph into her um her actual physical combat skills, it's like she would like win a lot more fights than what she's doing now which is uh roughly around like 45 percent so you know guess that's what I, I get it I guess that's what happens when uh, you uh rely on power too much <laughs> to help you do uh do all your fights though the same thing happened in Assassin's Creed with the uh, Altier and Ezio well not Altier but easy not Altier as much as Ezio because I remember Altier, he actually uh, knew how to, you know, use the uh, use um, the piece of Eden like properly. Whereas Ezio, once he got hold of it, he was like, "Oh my God, I could defeat so many people, but not like by using this um, piece of Eden. I don't even have to fight." And it it kind of bit him in the ass because uh, you know, yeah. But you know, that's 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 getting off the subject. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is really an unfair fight for Jerry. Why? Well, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Let's see. I think... Okay, this guy is a Spaniard. And main character is... Abel. He has almost 8,000 BP with almost 2,000 PP. And uh, there's Jerry. This is the uh, super count, I think, so... Let's see what happens. And why do I call this match unfair? It's because watch what happens. Watch what happens. It's like Abel's like basically uh infin like he's invincible during his game. During his match, I don't know why. But so like he's not even there.
So, let's see. Yeah, Boogie can do a roll. Uh, Gen can do a roll. Let's see, but when Ibuki faces a projectile or... Well, when Ibuki faces a projectile when she's rolling, she can get hit by it. However, if she does her EX roll, she can roll right through it. Or in case of an Ultra or a Super, she can roll through that too, if it's a projectile. However, with Able, if you fire off projectiles to your Ultra, and if he rolls, he can go through anything. And everything. Doesn't matter what it is. Doesn't matter what kind of attack it is. He can just roll through it, everything. Then he has unblockable mix-ups too. Um, with that, uh, I guess that rolling kick he does. The aerial, like, uh, rolling kick. Yeah, and then, uh, he's a grapple character too, so that, um, makes his, uh, moves kind of unblockable. Because command throws can't be checked in this game. I don't know. Like I said, this game has a certain bias towards uh, certain characters. I guess Abel's one of them because he's a grappler. He has command throws that can't be blocked. So no matter what you do, he's just a pain he has to fight. Just like Shoto characters. But, you know, that's just, that's just my bias. Because... You guys, uh, guy just got... He's a good fighter, but... You didn't got to fight. He's a good fighter. Used him properly, but you know he's just just annoying. When it happens, it's like, eh. no, 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 I can't really phrase it right now. Let's see, Jerry, you don't. Oh, wait, 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 where am I at that time? Let's see. Okay, Jerry, you dumbass. The sequel. <laughs> Let's see. What you doing this match to piss me off? Okay, it looks like we're in some unknown land cause, because there's no flag uh, flying beside that guy's username. So we're going up against a Gen player. The Shitenkatsu Tega versus. Okay. Doing good so far. Oh, that's what pissed me off. Okay. Because she did a super when I, um, specifically told her not to. Like, okay, she has full bar. Don't do your super. Don't do your super. I jump back. My hand's off the, my hand's off the damn stick. And she still does it anyway. Okay, he used up his super. Now we're on even ground, sort of. Right, now he's attacking him because he gets to. Oh. Okay. 
Okay, trying to cross him up. Trying to cross him up. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Kill, go for the kill, go for the kill, Jerry. Oh, man. Okay. So, she survived that fight. Just barely. I think she could have had it in the second round if she didn't fly off her super like a dumbass. It's like, I let go of the controls. She jumps back, I let go of the controls. Still goes back to neutral. However, when I uh, take control of the stick, stick again, do a move, that super just pops out. It's like, oh, sorry. There goes all your bar in like two seconds. Now you gotta build it back up while worrying about his bar, which is all the way filled. Luckily, she didn't get hit by his uh, super. Like that's it. Using Jerry on a, um, on a default PSD controller is uh, really it can get really aggravating sometimes, almost to the point of uh, you wanting to break a <laughs> you wanting to break a sixty dollar controller out of frustration for trying to control her. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to wrap this episode up because it's uh, running at twenty two minutes. So this is R Strain, aka Ripper Strain 006, saying that if you like what you saw, hit the like button. Or if you dislike, hit the dislike button. But if you dislike, you have to tell me why did you dislike the video? What can I do to improve it? Don't just leave me hanging with that thumbs down. Alright? It only takes a few seconds to write a message. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll see you when I see you.